Hey everybody, welcome back to my porch. It's been a week since I've done one of these videos and we're continuing our journey in the A Gentle Spirit devotional book. Today, the scripture reading comes from Song of Solomon, chapter four and verse nine, and it says, Thou hast ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse, thou hast ravished my heart with one of thine eyes with one chain of thy neck. And our devotional writer says, Precious Savior, how oft we have heard thee knocking at the doors of our hearts, not only when we were sinners, but even after we had tasted and knew that the Lord was good and had proved thine infinite love. How dull we are when it comes to a realization of the love of Christ. We are like little children who watch the beautiful colors and dazzling lights in a priceless diamond, but do not know its value. We have no conception of what it cost our Lord to purchase redemption for mankind. We do not know his suffering. We shall never know the anguish that broke his heart as he hung on the cross, detested by all those who had claimed to love him. Oh, that we might love him more. It seems that he demands so little from us in comparison with what he has given us. Even a little turning of our love toward him and his heart responds to us. And the warmth of his love sweeps over us like flaming billows. Even a little turning of our faces toward him with determination to go into all he has bought for us and he hastens to meet us. A lot of flowery and flowing words in our devotional today, a lot of beautiful imagery, and I love that they chose a scripture out of the Song of Solomon. We often don't recognize the love that Jesus has for us in our everyday life. And if you're not a hopeless romantic or somebody who likes poetry, then sometimes those flowery flowing words maybe just kind of eh, pass over your head. But how amazing is it if we really think about how much that God loves us and the rich beauty and imagery that he has gifted us with in our life. I mean, he is the creator of everything, right? So he didn't have to give us all the amazing colors that we have in the world that we could see. It could just be black and white. He didn't have to give us the amazing diversity of animal and plant life, and yet he did. He didn't have to give us the amazing diversity of skin tones and eye colors and hair colors and hairstyles. But he did because his world is beautiful because God is amazing and beautiful and it just enriches and shows how much he loves us that he would give us this wondrous beauty to behold every day last week was my birthday and it was an unusually cool August usually my birthday is welching hot just ugh, you're just dripping as soon as you walk out the door in the morning you just can't even catch your breath and yet the whole week was just this beautiful cool weather in the morning to the point where I could open my doors and windows and let the fresh air in here where we live in western Kentucky and it was just an amazing thing and every morning I woke up and said God thank you thank you for the gift that you have given me Selfishly, I thought it was for my birthday. Understandably, it wasn't, but you know, I could think that it was for my birthday. And that God had given me this amazing gift of just this wonderful weather. What beauty do you have in your life? What greenery, what birds, what trees, what crazy cats that run around my porch? What is it that you love in your life that God has gifted you with? And how often do you thank him that he has allowed this beauty to be in your everyday life? Brothers and sisters, I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. I pray you have a blessed day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.